Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting differential equation. Now, I call this an interesting equation because of the results. I'm pretty sure most of you will be surprised at the results. And also this video has been inspired by another video made by Black Pen Red Pen. I'm pretty sure most of you, maybe all of you know him. So I'll talk about the details towards the end because I don't want to spoil the surprise. So let's go ahead and get started. We have y prime equals y divided by xy plus x. Now this equation is not difficult to solve but because it's going to turn into a separable differential equation. So let's go ahead and write it this way first. I'm going to go ahead and factor out an x and uh, put all the terms that have y in them on one side along with the y prime and everything else uh, that has x on the other side. So let's go ahead and write it this way y prime times y plus 1 over y equals 1 over x and then obviously I do want to write the y prime as dy over dx so I can turn this into a separable differential equation. So I can write it as dy over dx times y plus y over y plus 1 over y equals 1 over x and then finally we want to multiply both sides by dx so we can write it as y plus 1 over y dy equals 1 over x dx. At this point, the variables are separated, and now we can integrate both sides. So to solve this, these types of equations, you can basically integrate both sides, and then uh, you'll be able to solve it very easily. How do you integrate y plus 1 over y? I'm going to go ahead and split up the numerator, and write, it, write this as a sum of two fractions. So y over y, which is 1, plus 1 over y dy and then that is equal to 1 over x dx. Now integrating both sides is actually fairly easy. The integral of 1 is y. Remember we're integrating with respect to y on the left hand side so it's going to be y and the integral of 1 over y can be written as ln absolute value. Let's just kind of ignore the positivity and negativity. Let's just assume for now that x and y are both positive. If they're not, you can just use the absolute value symbol and you'll arrive at something similar. So we can write the integral of 1 over y as ln y. And I'm going to save the constant for the right hand side. And 1 over x is ln x similarly plus c. You can write a constant on both sides, but the constant basically will be absorbed uh, two constants will be absorbed by one constant, so you don't need to do that. Great, so we kind of got an expression, and you can definitely leave it at this point because you can't get the y by itself. I mean, there's no simple way to do it, right? If you look at this equation, we have the ln, we have the y. It's not linear, it's not polynomial, uh, it's not logarithmic only, it's not exponential, so on and so forth. But there's a couple of things you can do, and then we'll arrive at a very special result. So let's proceed. First of all, I want to write the c as ln k, where k is a constant. c is a constant too. Because now I can combine these two things into one log. Uh, by the way, this is the natural log of y. And so natural log of x plus natural log of k can be written as natural log of x times k or k times x. Again, k is a constant, so even if you use the absolute value symbol, you know, it doesn't matter because k can be positive or negative. Of course, when x is positive, you want k to be negative, uh, positive as well. Anyways, so how do you kind of get a better picture from here? You can go ahead and e to the power of both sides because the presence of ln on both sides tells us to do that. So e to the power y plus ln y equals e to the power ln kx. By the way, when I say ln, it's the natural log of something. Okay. Now, we have a sum in the exponent, so let's go ahead and separate them. And then use the definition, because ln and e to the power are inverse functions, or e to the power ln something is something. e to the power ln a is a. So we can kind of write this as e to the y times y equals kx. Or let's write it as y times e to the y equals kx. And, I, and at this point, I know what you're thinking. Okay, you're thinking about the L word, right? 
Okay, so suppose k is equal to 1, then you'll get y e to the y equals x. So a simpler version. k doesn't have to be 1, by the way. We're just going to leave it as a constant. So since y is a function of x, uh, we can also write it as f of x times e to the power f of x equals kx. Now our goal a lot of times in differential equations is to find an expression for y or f of x. In this case, is there a way to find f of x from this equation? There's actually a famous, or should I say infamous, function called Lambert's w function, or the product log function. I'll share some links down below as well, such that the Lambert's w function is defined as such, w f of x times e to the power f of x equals f of x. So whatever you input here, something times e to the power of that thing, and w it, you're going to get the thing. Make sense? Okay. So that's how it works. I'm also going to show you, um, I share with you a link that kind of shows you the graph of Lambert's w function, the two branches. Okay. So what are we going to do then? We got this equation, y e to the y equals kx. We can Lambert both sides, w y e to the y, equals wkx and then by definition wye to the y is just y and y is going to be wkx where k is a constant and that would give us basically the solutions um, in terms of x okay now let me tell you a little bit uh, about how this video was inspired uh, this was inspired by a video made by black planet but as i mentioned earlier so basically, this is how it goes. He made a video right here on the derivative of the Lambert's W function. And then I look at the result, and then I decided to turn it into a differential equation, which was my inspiration for this video. So I want to thank you, Black Pen, Red Pen, for the idea, for the inspiration, and all the great videos that you have been making. So this is basically what it is. And if you differentiate Lambert's W function, check out his video. He kind of goes through the uh, process and this is the inverse process. All right. So this brings us to the end of this video. But before we finish the video, I also want to show you, I I'd like to show you a graph of Lambert's W function. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. And I'll also share the link with you down below. So this is what Lambert's W function looks like. And there's two expressions. And like I said earlier, I'm going to share this link down below so you can go ahead and see for yourself what this looks like. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.